artifact due to resuscitation RT resuscitation artifact injection mark injection mark in a cardiac region given during the perimortem period may cause a hemopericardium may be confused with the genuine antimotor effusion of blood around the puncture sites in a arm and groin may be confused with the injection mark in a drug dependent lens the introduction of IV cannula into the veins of the neck may cause a large hematoma and more diffuse bleeding into the tissues along side the pharynx some injection may be marks may be associated with the postmortem bruise also if injections were given to already dead man next is defibrillator may, may give the appearance of a ring like condition on the chest histological me may produce a coagulation necrosis and the contraction bands on which mistaken for pre-existing myocardial ischemia and neutralization effects of uh, injected beta adrenergic catecholamines example neuroadrenaline coagulation necrosis and contraction bands as in a defibrillator and both defibrillation and catecholamines have been used to resuscitate the myocardial changes are more marked energetic external cardiopulmonary resuscitation cpr may cause a anterior chest wall bruising hemorrhage into the subcutaneous tissues and pectoral muscles fracture of sternum ribs and dorsal spine are rare in children hemothorax bruised lung lacerated lung pericardium hemorrhage in case of children in case of uh, uh, fracture may lead to allegations of a child abuse heart damage including rupture of artery and ventricle septum rupture and valve damage red vessel scan severe uh, suffer severe trauma fat and bone marrow emboli in the pulmonary vessels i petaki in the hemorrhages in the eye syndrome hemorrhage retinal hemorrhage is classically a sign of classically a sign of raised intra cranial pressure after and uh, of head injury can occur this may occur uh, after violent sneezing and coughing also due to gripping by hands of the face and neck bruising on the face uh, neck uh, fine finger nail marks and nail marks on the face and neck damaged the lips and inner gums from mouth to mouth or restitution introduction of an artificial airway endotracheal tube or laryngoscope damage to mouth lips palate teeth pharynx and larynx may occur especially in a difficult and hurried emergency situation injury to the larynx a fracture of the hyoid and the thyroid coronary may be difficult to distribution from manual strangulation fracture of mandible digital clearance of the pharynx in infants may cause mucosal damage damage to the pharyngeal mucosa may cause bleeding may be mixed with the fluid of pulmonary edema to produce a copious uh, finger bloody froth may give a picture of battered baby syndrome or a sudden infant death syndrome thank you